Hi guys, it's Mercy, Big Time Rush Love 3 with How to Survive. Today I'm going to do How to Survive High School Drama, which I think is a very interesting concept because we all face kind of dramas in our lives. I mean, we do not live in um, a telenovela, which totally, thinking of Jane the Virgin, which is only like, what, two or three episodes of, which is kind of weird because I like stopped watching. I'm like, eh, it's good. But the whole point is we all will face some kind of drama issue in our lives and I think the interesting part is that we all have different drama stuff sometimes we don't I, I've talked to people and they're like oh we don't have that much drama we really don't have any which is a great thing for you because drama is usually awful for me it's exciting but it's usually kind of bad too it's like oh look who's back your ex do you really want to talk to him oh he's being a jerk now thanks a lot dude the whole point that I'm trying to press on further too in my thing is that the way to um I feel like there's not really a way that you can avoid it because, I mean, you can obviously run from problems that you have, you know, there is certain things you can do, but there's usually a solving matter and I feel like a lot of times it can also be emotional matter about how you feel about a situation if you're in a fight with someone, if you're arguing, not getting along, you can either, you know, you have to move on from that, you choose to become friends with them still, you know get past that or you realize that it's the end and you know you don't deserve it um I realize that I write a lot about drama that goes on in my life in um my caption series my first real love I was also thinking about like kind of turning that to a voiceover series which if you get back to me on that like message me I will meet people if I actually go through with that whole point is um drama totally corrupts our lives it really it's a shame that we have drama because I feel like we're so distracted from school at points that we're like, no, not helpful, not really helpful at all. But <laughs> basically, without certain things, I think lives would be very boring. But the best things to do when you have issues coming up, like, I mean, I can't really specifically go into details of what kind of situation you're in and how to solve it. If you have situations, I can try to help too. But the whole point is, situations can be very such so different that I don't know everyone's lives. I can't really be like in all of the spaces. I know I have certain drama. People don't have those kind. It's very, it depends. Maybe you're just having an issue at home and you're talking with your friends about that and that's what's interesting. For me, I feel like life gets really boring when there's no interesting stuff to talk about. It's either, you know, like drama, like maybe it's someone else's gossip or something. Or they even gossip. I feel like a lot of time it's not gossip because, you know, you purposely, you know, um, it's true because you, you know, the person who was talking about it and you like purposely heard them and you're the one spreading, but you're not really spreading because you're just telling like, unless you're in a giant group. Cause like when I talk to people, it's usually like what person and she doesn't really tell anyone. So, you know, from what I assume from that. So I don't mean to be like an awful person. You know, I'm just like. I heard something interesting. It was really funny. Thought you should hear that. But not necessarily making fun of people. I mean, yeah, I can kind of be rude sometimes, but not to people I like. Many people are really mean to me, so it's not like, if you're nice to me, I will totally be nice to you for like the end of time. We're like on great terms, you know? That's kind of my situation. But as soon as you do something a little off, it's like, mm, like, do I, you know? It kind of starts escalating. But I have actually tried to keep my cool with people. Like, this one dude, he was like, so basically, I know his friend because I was friends with his friends and I technically dated his friend. But now he's really mean to me. The thing is, like, I never did anything to him. His friend was technically in terms with me for, like, the longest time. I'm also thinking he's the reason why his friend is, like, so weird now. But basically, I did absolutely nothing. And I was, like, I was even respecting him as a person. I'm like, you know what? He's probably an okay guy. I was, like, trying to convince my friends. Like, he's not, he's not that bad. And then at the end, he's, like, a total jerk to me. <laughs> like, He's, um, I don't know how to explain exactly what, but he has not been helpful, nice, he's pretty rude, he doesn't say much, try to get him to stop, you know. Some people just don't want you to talk to them, and I guess you can just try to stay out. Some people just hate being in drama, which I realize, I'm like, you know, you're like a great person, I had no, um, that kind of sucks. So much to talk about, I do not want to take awfully long, but... I'm almost in high school, which makes me feel great about stuff. I have like one month left. Totally trying to gear into this and be creative too. But so much stuff to think about. 
And I feel like as soon as something's done, you'll get something else, which is not even related to high school. It's life drama, how to survive any kind of drama. And you're going to have to get through it on your own. Oh, I don't want to say on your own because I'm like, oh, this video is not helpful at all. But <laughs> you can either try to... I think a lot of drama is usually bad though, right? I mean, isn't drama supposed to be like a bad, chastic thing? I think drama can be good. It's just something interesting that happens. You as a person, you have to decide who you are. And I think it really molds you into who you are too. You know, you're like... Do I want to stay with this friend? Do I want to... Unless the drama is kind of project-based and you're like, okay, as soon as we finish the project, the drama will be done because we don't get together as a group. Even though I usually had, like, okay groups in high school after I switched schools, so... You know, it's a really wrong people you surround yourself with because if you're with really chill people, you know, some people you'll never have issues with, some people you will have issues with all the time, some you'll have a few, but it's kind of molding you into a better friendship or better people that know each other and... In the end, when high school's over, I mean, are you really going to see a lot of these people again? I mean, hopefully not if you don't want to see them, but realistically, I mean, you're not. You might move. Unless you stay in the same town, you live in a really small town, you know, like Gilmore Girls, Stars Hollow, like that kind of just Like, yeah, you probably are going to run into some people, but the whole point is you probably will not if you live in, like, a normal place with people that are, like, flooding the streets everywhere. And, and you will find nice people, hopefully. And any wishes and things that you're looking for, you know, they will get completed. And this is a really weird thing, but I feel like this is cool information. And if you want me to do, like, a story time on anything that I've had to survive or anything, like, let me know and I'll talk about, like, whatever. I'm pretty open on the internet. So, yeah. <laughs> Till next time.